Hi, welcome to IP Stack review video. In this IP Stack review video, we're talking about absolutely everything that you need to know about IP Stack. That is, is a tool that you need to try out, is a tool that you need to check out, is a tool that will be of benefit to you. Or just another tool out there that you need to run away from and not waste your time and money on. We'll be looking at all of this in this IP Stack review video. We're also be looking at what IP Stack is all about. That is, what are the features? What are the benefits of IP Stack? What are the benefits of IP stack? At, uh, what are the benefits of IP stack? And as well, looking at the users of IP stack, that is, who can actually make use of IP stack? We'll be looking at all of this in this IP stack review video. We're we'll also be looking at the pros and the cons, that is, the good and the bad side of IP stack. For any product out there that is doing amazing, that is doing well, look at it very carefully. You find out that it's also got its own bad side. So we'll be looking at the interesting part and as well as the bad side of IP stack. We're we'll also be looking at the pricing plans, that is, the different pricing plans. That IP stack has got in store for you as to the different features, as to the different capabilities, as to what they can actually handle, which is why it's very important for you to stick to the end of this IP stack review video. So I get to start the pricing plan that IP stack has got in store for you. We're also be looking at what others are saying about IP stack. That is, the present and existing users of IP stack, what they are saying about it. We means we do not necessarily have to listen to all I have to say about IP stack, but get to see what other users of IP stack are saying about it. Also, be looking at my final recommendation as to what I personally feel about IP stack. Is the tool that you need to try out? Is the tool that you need to check out? Is the tool that will be of benefit to you? Or just another time wasting and money wasting tool out there that you need to run away from? Which is why it is very important for you to see to the end of this IP stack review video. So I get to start the important tips that I'm about to drop about IP stack. Now to IP stack review in full. This is IP stack homepage. This is IP stack homepage. Now, what does IP stack actually do? IP stack is actually is actually a, is actually an IP validation and geolocation API that actually allows you to be able to even know where your web your website systems are actually coming from. So if you're actually looking for a platform, you're actually looking for a tool that can actually make use of if you're a business owner, you're a small scale, you're a large scale business, you're a freelancer, an entrepreneur, you're a solopreneur, you're a startup, looking to actually um, looking to actually um, have details of where your cost your your website users are actually coming from. You can actually make use of IP stack to help to achieve this. Now let's look at the pros of IP stack. Number one, it helps you to personalize your website content based on your based on your visitor's location. That is, we make use of IP stack. IP stack actually provides with an IP address lookup and IP geolocation feature, and that allows you to easily know where your visitors are actually coming from based on their. You are able to easily know where they actually um where your visitors location. You actually identify your visitors location, so that allows you to easily locate the IP addresses of of your of your website visitors. So you can so they to easily Track down their geographical location of a user, or you can also also allow people to easily pinpoint the origin of the connection. So that allows you to easily personalize your website content based on your website uh, location. So you'll be able to easily know where, where your website visitors are actually coming from. You know, so I can easily tailor that um, location. So that I can easily tailor it. You can easily make use of. You can easily tailor the location. You can easily tailor your website content to their location. That is, we'll be able to actually know what they are, what they actually need in that particular location. So I can easily make use of it. Let me easily make a ask for a ask decision without able to easily ask for business engagement and as well as conversion. Number two, it also helps you to easily detect the currency of your website visitors. That is, when you make use of when you make use of when you make use of IP stack, IP stack actually provide with a currency module that actually allows you to easily get instant and accurate information about the primary currency used in the location of your user. So that so that helps to easily so that allows you to easily deliver a tailor shopping experience. To your customer, so this can actually help you to easily drive more traffic and as well as um, enhance your return of investment on your business. Number three, it also provides you with time zone modules that is, they make use of IP stack. IP stack actually provides with a time module that actually allows you to able to easily find out the time zone your users are actually located without the need for them to actually fill in any form. So, and you can, you can also make use of this information to help you to easily act accordingly based on the time related metadata returned by IP, IP stack. So, you actually provide with the time zone module that actually allows you to be able to easily know. Where your customers are actually coming from, so you'll be able to know the time and at which um, they are they are always coming down to coming to your website, so that you can easily make some can actually make use of this to actually act accordingly based on the time related metadata. You know, so you know for it to be able to really answer business engagement and as well as conversion. Number four, to significantly save you time, money, and stress. That is the time, the money, and the stress that's been involved in you managing to actually or trying to actually um, create a form for your for your users to actually feed their location, to feed their currency. To feed their, their time zone. That's why you save that time. You save that money and as well as the stress. Number five, 
It also provides you with a security module that is makes your IP start. IP start actually provides you with a security module that actually assists you to protect your, your site and your web application so, uh, from any potential or cyber threats to your business. So, the, by, so it actually helps you to easily do this by detecting proxies, callers, or author users at first glance. So, you'll be able to easily know who is actually a fraudulent, uh, actually a fraudulent activity, a fraudulent, a fraudulent user. So, that's how to be able to easily protect your, your website and web application from any potential threats. To your business by helping to detect if, if, if your user is actually making use of a proxy, is actually making if the person is actually a caller or a tour user at first glance. glance. Now, to the cause of IP start, right? Number six, sorry, number six, they've got a great customer support. Now, for any product that I newly introduced to, there's likelihood I may encounter some difficulties while trying to use it for the first time. That's where the customer support comes in. They're always available to you whenever you contact them. They have to resolve whatever issues. Whatever difficulties that might be having, so that I can have a smooth and great sales. Number seven, it is safe to use. That's why making use of IP start. IP start is actually very, it's actually very safe to use. So it actually, all, it's actually that all your data are actually sent and processed by the IP start API is actually secured by 256-bit SSL encryption. So that actually allows you actually, it actually protect your, your your data that is being processed. That actually to easily protect, you actually protect them by 256-bit SSL encryption. So your data is actually safe and secure when you make use of IP start. Now to the cause of IP start. And I thought of making this IP start review video. I've not really found any bad side as to IP start. But for any product out there that is doing amazing, that is doing well, there's always room for improvement. So I feel IP start can actually be better, can actually improve on their services. Now to the pricing plans of IP start. The best minimum plan for you to get started with IP start is $11.99 per month. The best minimum plan for you to get started with IP start is $11.99 per month. But most other pricing plans as to the different features, as to the different capabilities, as to what they can actually handle. And for instance, the pricing plan that are most stable for your own usage, there's a link in this video description that you can actually click on to see the full pricing for the various packages and the offers, and as well as the discounts that they come with. What's the different pricing plan that IP Stack has got in store for you? As to the different features, as to the different capabilities, as to what they can actually handle. And for instance, the pricing plan that are most stable for your own usage, there's a link in this video description that you can actually click on. To see the full pricing for the various packages and the offers, and as well as the discounts that they come with. Like I said before, the best minimum plan for you to get with IP Start is $11.99 per month. Now, as the users of IP Start, this is Stephanie said, the service offers a wide range of data, including countries, city, region, and uh, region, time zone, latitude, and longitude, and many other details that can be useful. The API is flexible and easy to use. It supports multiple programming languages and offers a simple and intuitive interface that allows developers. To quickly integrate the service into the app application. Additionally, the service provides detailed documentation and technical support, making it easy for developers to troubleshoot any issues they may encounter. All right, this is Amit D. He said, IP Start's accuracy, accuracy of location is what we like the best. This helps us identify from where the order is being placed on, on our, on our, and on, on, and we are sure and greatly and, and greatly assist us in detecting fraudulent transactions. All right. Now, as my final recommendation, as to what I personally feel about IP Start, I would say it's got a great platform that's reasonably easy to use. The elevation will provide you with details of where your customers access your website from and also help you to customize user experiences based on their IPs. The saving time and stress and also get you the best out of your effort. And especially as your business engagement and conversion, as well as turning your business around. It also got a great customer support. Like I said before, it's got a great customer support. They're always available to you whenever you contact them. And as well, it's also got a free trial. If you want to add IP Star for free, they've got a free trial for you. So there's no risk involved. You are safe. I'll say again, I want to go to start the format function of an IP address validation and geolocation lookup API out there. Now, from everything I've said about IP Star, I feel IP Star is something like the trial. It's only like the check I don't want you to use to actually get details of where your, your website visitors are actually coming from. There's a special link in this video description that I can actually click on to get started at a very unusual enterprise that you won't find elsewhere. Once you add IP stack, what's what IP stack can actually do for you? And a special link in this video description that I can actually click on right now to get started at a very original counter price that I won't find elsewhere. Thanks for watching my video with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you've got any questions or any inquiries about IP stack, don't forget to make it of the comment section. And I'll try as much as possible to attend to each and every question asked. Thanks for watching my video with you once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.